Hello and welcome everyone to another vlog. I'm back home. I think this is probably going to be one of the first vlogs uh, back home. I just got ready. I need to show you this dress. I got this by Birchwood Vintage. It was in the mail. Isn't it so, so dreamy? Other than like this detail up here, it is just a... Ooh, the swing still gets me. It's just a floor long velvet dress the dark purple is so stunning for some reason when she asked me if i was interested in getting this dress um and if she could gift this to me i thought it was black but it is the most beautiful shade of dark purple i'm wearing it with this blouse and the blouse full disclosure actually like has this bit up here the collar and while i like it i think it is too high like with the dress I don't know I just like it folded down more um, today I actually have a couple of plans I'm going to go to my hometown drive all the way down there meet up with my best friend I have a bunch of things that I want to do I might want to pop into a thrift store so yeah that's about it uh, I also think we will go out for like a dinner or something um, yeah, it is pouring out, so I hope that this outfit will sustain me a little. I'm just gonna get going now and take you along. My hair looks crazy due to the wind and rain. But I made it to the first store that I always take you to. And I found this dress. And I love the sleeves and everything. Seems nice. I don't know about the length and like how is this detail on here. But I feel like I could tailor it to work. Also, I put my jacket in a little bag because I was so hot. The weather is weird out. Um, it's quite full. But let's take another leap. Other than this, I haven't seen anything that I like. But I'm sure if I take another leap, I might see something. Let's just see. Also, why did I take time to do my hair this morning? I look crazy already. I just found this dress and I'm not gonna pick it up because I already have like a similar one. But I think it is so cute. Like it is so simple, but then it has this hem and like a lower cut back. You, unfortunately you can't really see the tag, but it's like a nice little vintage one. I love this color. <gasps> They're shorts. Hold up. I thought that this was a mini skirt. They're shorts for men. I'd love to get them for my boyfriend, but I'm so sure he will not like them. But then they're perfect. I made it to the dressing rooms. I just want to say I'm so in love with today's outfit. The shoes I need to get used to. I haven't worn them in a while, oh, but it's so beautiful. This keeps popping up, but never mind. Oh, so beautiful, everything. Um, the only thing that bothers me still are my bangs, but I think I'll just have to live with it today. So yeah, let's try some pieces on, especially this dress. I think it is so cute. I also thought I could turn it into a shirt. Let's just see. It might be a little big. Let this be your sign to always try on all vintage pieces. It fits very well. I, however, don't love the length. Let's see. Oh, I love it. A little shorter. I think it is so, so cute. Um, it like has a little bit of shape with these seams down here. I think it is very lovely. I also thought I could turn it into like a two-piece set. That would be kind of cute. Oh, it's so, so cute. I need to get this. I'm in love. I picked this up a little like randomly, but I think it is very cute. It's just this little cotton wrap skirt. And what I love about it is that you can turn it around. Let me show you. This is the other side, but this side is quite stained. So I'll have to see whether I can like clean that. But I think it's a very lovely skirt. For some reason I tried it on, not really thinking much of it. But now that I'm wearing it, I think it is very, very dreamy. A nice little 70s look. This is the other side out. I like it. The like biggest stain is kind of hidden like this. So maybe I should get it too. Oh, it's so cute. I think I need to get it too. 
Okay, so I ended up never really finishing this video, so I decided to go thrifting again and just include that in this video too. So get ready for another round of thrifting. Today I want to focus on wedding decor, home decor in general, because I feel like our home just needs a few more pieces to make it absolutely perfect. And then I also would love to look at some clothing pieces and basically whatever we come across. I want to go in with a very open mind today. I want to go to my favorite thrift store, because the last time that I went, I took you and they were closed. At least like the entire upper part was closed and that's like my favorite section so everything is hopefully open today get yourself a drink get comfortable and let's go look at some wonderful 60s and 70s pieces they seem to kind of have reorganized the store but i'm in the back and they have all the shoes here oh and then i think these are like rain jackets this just caught my eye wow but I honestly think shoe-wise, nothing really in my style. I do think that these are kind of cool. But I don't need another pair and they're not vintage, so I'm just gonna pass these up. Okay, so it's kind of crowded today, so I just took my turns, came to the back, and I'm gonna show you what I found. Also, I have some things on hold downstairs that are like decor and like just some other pieces. Wow, I never realized that they have like old cars back there. I need to show you, but let's start with the pieces because I actually found quite a bit okay so first things first I have been on the verge of buying a journal forever um I always see them on vintage pages and I find them a lot here because it's like not for the part in Germany that we live in but like very close by this is the traditional thing I think this one might be too big but I picked up another one the details on this are so beautiful and I could take it apart and like make it a vest or something this blouse i'm gonna try this one the green one is that is sadly too big i just wanted to show you and then with this one there's also a pink apron so i'm gonna try that i found two dresses that i kind of like this one that i'm actually a little unsure about but the pattern really drew me in and then this really like a nice and the light kind of baby doll dress i found the cutest thing for my son um this little shirt i think you'll love it i found a curtain which i'm not sure whether we're going to get it but this is kind of like the wedding decor theme like i want it to be a lot of like crochet and lace i was speechless look at it it's like a 70s very chic even like prom kind of dress it is so so beautiful i need to try this on i'll also take you with me through the dressing room and then i found two more dresses and i quickly want to show you how i determine whether i'm going to get something or not so the pattern I really like, it's like a very Biba-esque pattern. The cut is a very classic 60s cut. It's a Marco Polo dress. So I will usually pass dresses like this because they're kind of stretchy and that sort of material wasn't popular in the 60s. So I feel like with my style that is kind of very true to the time, this doesn't work. So I'm usually passing up dresses like this. And the same actually with this one. This is a Betty Barclay dress, not a vintage one. This kind of like material and style was very popular um, with Missoni in the 60s and 70s. But I feel like with the cut and everything, I don't know. I don't think this is like perfect for me, honestly. And then last but not least, I'm so unsure about this, but this is a dress made from real wool. And I figured if it fit me nicely, this would be perfect to be worn underneath something. Um, yeah, so it even has like the original tag. So I'm gonna take you to the dressing room, try all of this on, and we'll see. Can you see these cars back there? I haven't seen old cars like that in such a long time. It's actually quite cool to see them. I made it to the far back of the so many dressing rooms like this is my outfit. It is really that's a tiny The lighting back here is pretty weird, but I already showed you everything kind of like by the daylight, so I hope this will go smooth. I hope a lot of things fit. Okay, so on the bright side, I got it on. On the downside, it's definitely too big. Um, it's kind of like just flapping forward. Look at how beautiful the fabric is in here. But it's too big, even like the blouse. I was thinking that I could just kind of like tailor it and turn it into a vest. So now I'm thinking if I like make it smaller, because if I like taking the sides, this could work. It's so beautiful. It's honestly so perfect. And I love the stitching. I'll need to ask how much this is and then I'll decide, honestly, because it's so beautiful. I am so in love with this dress. It is so, so perfect. The details, everything. I'll try to show you maybe like a haul once I'm home. It's so cute, the length, everything's perfect about this one, honestly. So, I don't think 
love this. Honestly, I feel like it's a cute dress, but I truly don't love it enough to just get it. Honestly, I'm trying to be very intentional with my purchases and I don't think this dress will get a lot of wear so I'm gonna pass it up and leave it here for someone else. Honestly, I really like this dress and I feel like it'll keep me warm. I mean, obviously you're not wearing it like on your own but as a little underdress, I feel like this is perfect. I do really like this dress but it doesn't like close all the way so sadly I'll need to leave it behind. I thought it would be so pretty but it's just like a little too small and I don't want to force close it so yeah. I'm just gonna leave it here and I hope someone will come in who will admire its beauty and get it because it is so, so perfect. It's so beautiful. Oh, with this sewing machine, it's 50 bucks and I already have one. It's so cool. Hello again, everybody. It's quite a bit later. I feel like I didn't even film that much um, in the store. It was just kind of crowded and so I didn't want it to get into anyone's way. But I actually ended up buying quite a bit. I think all in all, I paid... 26 27 bucks i think 26 50 something around those lines so yeah i'm just gonna go through and show you everything that i got let's start with these two things um there must be a third one somewhere it probably fell out and is now downstairs these are like little roses and i got them for a very specific reason i love to get craft supplies at the thrift store first of all it's very inexpensive but I got them because I am going to do my own hair and makeup for the wedding. I know I said I didn't want it to, but basically I went over different scenarios on how doing my makeup and hair on my wedding day was going to go. Um, at first I asked a friend of mine who's a makeup artist, but she's also like an artist artist. And, and so she has an art show on that day, so that didn't work out. And then I asked two of her friends who are also makeup artists. One of them charged 700 bucks and then with her driving here and like driving back home it would have come out to like around 900 euros and then the other one would have done it for 350 the only issue there would have been that she would have required me to go to her house which basically would have meant that on the day of my wedding i would have needed to leave our home at like 5 a.m just to be ready on time and honestly there is no shame if you want to spend that much money on getting your makeup done I just don't want to do it and so I thought that I could just invest a hundred euros or something into like very good makeup, try to figure out what I want to do and then do it myself but I think I want to do a trial run and maybe I'll do a video so we'll see. But I basically have two dresses and while I want to do one hairstyle I kind of want to play with accessories. I feel like with my first outfit this would go so well and then for the second one I'm gonna have a flower crown from the florist down the street. So I feel like that's truly a great addition. Anyway the next thing that I got I think I'm gonna start with the home decor, just the way that they put it in the bag. Are these two things? I don't know what they are, but I thought they were beautiful, beautiful. Even as like a necklace, a hair thing, but mainly as decor for the wedding. So it's going to be a lot of lace. This is kind of also the color scheme of one of my dresses. So yeah, they were two bucks each, but with this thrift store, they will often, like, there will be a price on something, but then they will not actually charge you that. So I don't know. But I thought that these were really, really beautiful, so I really wanted to get them. And then I also got this, which wouldn't that be the perfect scarf? I just thought it was the most beautiful fabric. And this is kind of like the color scheme of the wedding, and then also like a bunch of yellow. So um, yeah, I think we're just gonna use it as decor, probably on the table. This would also make a very, very pretty scarf. I honestly just saw this and fell in love with it and I thought it would be perfect for the wedding. And then I got this, I cannot really show you, but this is like a massive curtain that I think I showed you in the store. It's like a lacy curtain, but we are planning to like cover the tables and basically everything with lace. So I thought that this was just a great source of like a bunch of lace and I bet this was like a euro or something. So definitely a good deal. I got two more pieces that aren't clothes so let me show you those first and then we'll do the clothing i got this mainly as a decor <laughs> um it has like the original sticker even on the bottom still i really want to like redecorate everything not even redecorate but finish decorating it and since our kitchen theme is very much kind of like red oranges yellows i thought that this was a great little thing and you can use it i mean it's also sort of practical and then the last thing is we used to have this large plate for cakes and we must have left it somewhere because it is nowhere to be found. 
So I found this one, which I actually like quite a bit. I think it's cool. I usually make bigger cakes because we have a big like baking pan. So now I have this, which is perfect to bring my cakes wherever we go. Okay, the rest in here is all clothing. So let's get right into it. I ended up getting this dress that is kind of like a baby doll dress. It is so beautiful. I love the little light blue fabric covered buttons and then just overall the way that the fabric is made. It's so beautiful and I cannot wait to wear it. It's, it's such a dream. So I honestly feel like I sort of manifested finding red tights today because this morning I was like, oh, with this outfit, red tights would also be so cool. And so I found some today. I always get my tights at the thrift store. They're so inexpensive. I bet these were like 50 cents. And they're burning bright red, which is absolutely perfect because I'm like trying to build a collection of tights in every color because I just love to wear them. So yeah, now I have these. They're definitely not from the 60s. I'd say judging by the packaging, this is like an 80s or 90s thing. I mean, it says made in Western Germany. So these were definitely made prior to 1989. So yeah, probably mid to late 80s. Next up, I showed you this. It's so cute. I got my son this little button up. It's just the cutest thing, honestly. He has grown so much. Oh, now the sun comes in. I believe that this is still probably a little big on him but he will grow into it. And I just, I, I thought it was so, so pretty, honestly. He also doesn't really have any clothes left from last summer because he grew so much. I think that's pretty normal. And so he was like a tiny baby last year during the summer. And now he's like a toddler basically. So this is a good piece to start his spring and summer wardrobe. I need to show you these next two pieces. So I showed you the shoe section and how there wasn't really anything. And so then I went across the corner where they have all the slippers and like at home shoes and just like basically a bunch of random shoes. I cannot believe I found these. When I tell you I have been looking for shoes like these forever. They were first popular in the 60s. They had a big resurgence in the 90s. I'm talking about those a while now. The sun is making them so bright. Do you see these? These are jelly sandals. So they're like plastic shoes, full on plastic. They're made to go bathing, but you can also just wear them out. And I, I cannot believe I found them. I found two, both in sort of my size. So these are, this is my size. And then these are a size too big, but I thought because I can fasten this, they might still work. But I'm so excited to be wearing both of them. And I bet they, they were probably like a Euro each. They're well worn but I feel like you can just clean them very well. And since Teddy and I love to be by the water basically, and we have this like nature pool close here. So basically it's like a regular pool, but they don't put any chlorine or anything in it. And they have this giant playground for children to basically play in the mud. I feel like we're gonna spend quite some time there during summer. So I'm so, so happy. And then also I'm so excited for the white ones because usually when I wear white sandals, I'm so afraid that they will get dirty, but with these you can do whatever you want because you can clean them. I, I'm so excited, honestly. This is definitely up there with my favorite finds of the day. Next up, I actually ended up buying the woolen dress. I know it's kind of weird because summer's approaching, but honestly, it was just too good to pass it up. So this is pure wool. This is like the little thing that'll tell you that. And that means that this will keep me so, so nice and warm. It's kind of like a little undershirt. It's this very, it's not white, but like a little bit of a creamy beige. It's so, so pretty. It's very fitted. I mean, I showed you in the dressing room. It has a little bit of detailing up here. As said, I don't think I'll ever wear this on its own because it's also see-through, but this is like the perfect piece to layer when it's very cold during the winter. One more random thing before. One more random thing that I didn't show you is this belt. It's like a silver belt. Um, Here is my thought process. So. The video that I'm gonna film tomorrow is actually gonna go up before this one so I can talk about it. Basically, it's a new episode of the 1960s fashion series. I'm gonna link it here if you haven't seen it yet. And it's all about space age. And so yesterday and this morning, I was kind of thinking, what am I doing for like styling? Because a big part of this for me and like the fun behind it is that with every episode, I am dressing the style. So I was like, okay, space age, what can I wear? And I have this really cool, 
green and silver cocktail dress and I want to put up my hair and like make it really big kind of like a Barbarella look and then I thought I could add this as like a little head wrap I can kind of like with a bunch of bobby pins and everything put it into place but even not for that just as like a regular little space age touch I felt like this belt was perfect and then I ended up getting the dunda and I am torn as said on what to do with it basically so there's this blouse that I love, but it's like a little too cropped probably to be worn on its own. We'll see what I will do with it. I actually would love to wear it with the dirndl. My only issue is, now I'm thinking, will I keep it in one? Or, I think I mentioned it, I could like take it apart and make it a vest. Um, I don't know. I should have actually just looked at the size because it has a size tag. That tells me that this clearly isn't my size, but I will try everything on. It's an original Dundel Tracht. There are like several different kinds. So a Dundel is typically worn in Bavaria, Austria and Switzerland. I live in Baden Württemberg, which is very close to all three of these places, but not quite there. So people here would have worn something a little different actually, but it's okay. We live right in the middle of the two biggest Volksfest Basen, Oktoberfest, basically. So people here get very hyped for it too. So now I'm thinking, so all these dundels are actually made with a lot of seam allowance to kind of tailor them to you. It's, it's the basic idea. So I'm thinking I could just open this side seam and make it smaller, but then will I keep it as a dress or Someone has definitely also let it out down here. It was shorter at one point. I could shorten it and keep it as a dress. I could turn it into like a vest and a skirt. I'm so torn. I honestly don't know what to do. It's so, so beautiful. So yeah, I don't know what to do with this yet. I will keep you updated, I guess. Maybe I can also take in these little darts. Honestly, for the longest time, everything was always so tight for me in the boobs. Always and every day. Pretty much everything and I used to hate it and I was so mad about it and I have to say um, due to breastfeeding my boobs are not as large as they were and for me so far it's been great because I feel like a lot of people can relate when you're kind of like shorter and petite overall but you have like a larger chest it's sometimes hard to find clothing so this is great but I feel like ever since so many pieces are now too big so I'll have to see what I do about this but I want to thank you for spending time with me today make sure to leave a comment down below what you think about these pieces any thoughts feeling what would you do with this journal? what was your favorite piece I'd love to chat to you in the comments if you enjoyed this video I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend it supports me it supports the channel and it would truly mean the world I hope you have a beautiful day go out enjoy the sunshine take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next video bye everybody